Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new vlog. We're doing a spend the weekend with me vlog just because really there's no particular reason. I just decided I haven't vlogged all week. i um, just been busy working and focusing on myself as and when I can and yeah I thought I'm gonna pick up the camera this weekend and shoot some content so uh, my name's Kaya if you're new around here thank you so much for tuning in and let's enjoy the weekend together it's Saturday morning it's currently just gone nine o'clock I have been up since before eight because there were there was a fly in my room is that anything more annoying so I had to find it and kill it then I was just awake then I came out to my kitchen and there was another fly so I had to find that and kill that so yeah not the most ideal start to the day, but it's fine. Uh, Scott got me some new bits from USA Pro from Sports Direct, so I thought that I could show you those and then we'll pick which one I'm gonna wear to the gym today. So this is what we've got. This is listed as a raspberry colour online, but it's actually very clearly a coral colour, as you can see. Um, and then this one is described as sonic blue. So they're both exactly the same everything, just a tank top, the high-waisted leggings, full length with the little pocket for your phone or iPod or whatever, and then the cross-back body sports bra. So yeah, let's try them on and see how they fit. Everything that I got here is in a size 12, by the way, just for reference. Okay, so I've started off with the Sonic Blue and not gonna lie, fits like a glove. <laughs> um, yeah, just perfect, love it. So comfortable, um, they're thick enough that it doesn't show up all your cellulite and wobbly bits actually holds you in um, and this isn't too low either and I like the crossbody back because when you're doing shoulders there's nothing more annoying than when you have like you know where a normal bra strap sits there's nothing more annoying than having that strap there especially for me because I feel like it really digs into my bony shoulder blade so yeah I don't like those ones, those three quarter ones, they're not for me. And I'm 5'5 five five for reference. So, yeah. I think we love. Let's try the tank top. So the reason why we got the tank tops as well is because obviously for work, I wouldn't just teach in a sports bra. Because um, well, that's just not really appropriate, is it? So yeah, we just got the matching coloured tank. If I wanted to, I could actually, um, which I probably would, tuck it into the front of the trousers, to be honest, so that it's more like a, um, like a little crop. Yeah, I like it. I'm having to be so careful because there was a casualty at the gym. I mean, my nails need doing drastically. What else is new? But I don't even know. Can you see? See? And so now it's really rough. And so I'm trying to be really, really careful with all this stuff so that I don't destroy it. Anyway, let's try on the coral. And here is the coral set. Again, size 12, perfect fit. The only thing I will say with this colour is, so I'm wearing a Calvin Klein knicker today and it's got Calvin Klein on it. No, not Calvin Klein. French Connection. And you can see the words through because they're black, so definitely go with either white or skin tone underwear. But yeah, again, absolutely lovely. Nice colour, nice summery bright colour. Um, yeah, no complaints. Let's put the tank on with this one as well. So as I said, we needed the tank tops for teaching. Ooh. They put like a million labels on their stuff, which is really annoying. Oh my god, and this is full blown gone through my clip. I have to take my clip out. Oh, my hair is wild. There we go. Yeah. So the tank actually does cover the wording on my knicker brief, but um, 
yeah, I would still just wear appropriate underwear so that you're not, you know, getting too risque. Lovely. So those are my latest new gym purchases. Thank you to Scott. And he got all of this for, is it 80 pounds? 80 pounds, because they're always doing two for like whatever. And then he gets a discount for work, so happy, happy days. But I shall link it all below so that you guys can go and maybe find yourself something that uh, you like. All right, I'm gonna actually get myself ready and leave and go to the gym. Right, we did it. We're at the house. We're on our way to the gym. I wanna quit the gym. No, we don't. The gym is good for us. I have a confession. I didn't vlog anything yesterday, and I'm sorry, but it just wasn't that much of an interesting day. To be honest, I'm gonna quickly just through what happened. So, went to the gym, after the gym, had to go get Nan's birthday cards and balloons. Then I had to go to the post office because my driver's license is up for renewal, but it's still in my maiden name, and I've been married for about eight years. Um, so, I can't do it online because I have to actually change my name. Um, so yeah, I had to go to the post office and, you know, post office, they're just long. Um, so I had to do that, then I had to come back and then Scott wanted to go to the gym. So he went to the gym, so I had the kids, so I did the washing, did the washing up. There was so much sport on telly, it was a joke, so my house was just like constant traffic because my dad always comes around to watch the F1, Scott likes to watch the cricket, I like to watch Wimbledon. Lily wasn't feeling very well, she's like got a cold but not a cold like she's not sneezing she's just congested and feeling like rough and tired and I kid you not I'm, I think it's the weather you all know they'd be spraying stuff up there and whenever it's muggy like this I mean you can hear it in me I've got sore throat today fuming because they just want to keep us sick always anyway so yeah Lily wasn't feeling well so I couldn't even go I was supposed to go to one of my care homes not like for work, I just offered to do it because they had a family fun day. Um, but Lily was feeling rough, so she was like, oh no, I need you, I need you. So yeah, I ended up just staying home. So I didn't really have anything to show you. And my nephew did an impression of me. <laughs> he <laughs> impersonated basically that all I do is clean my house and clean out my cupboards. So I was like, all right. So yeah, I didn't want to vlog me just being at home because apparently I do it too much. So anyway, I'm back at the gym. I'm in the same set. It is Sunday now. I'm going to go work out. Lots of love. I will vlog more today. I promise. <sighs> gym done. This is not a good camera angle. You can barely see my head. And the steering wheel's in the way, but my dashboard isn't very flat. Oh God, can I improve this? There we go. That's a bit better. And now we're driving, so my camera's probably going to slide and fall. Um, yeah, gym done. I had a very quick session today because I'm in a rush, because the cricket starts at 11 and Scott wants to be home to watch it. There we go, that's better. Um, oh my god, it rained. It rained while I was in there. Yeah, so it was a quick session today, just did some legs, actually did some glutes for the first time in ages. Um, yeah, that, that burned a little bit, that one. And normally I just listen to like YouTube, not music, I actually watch like the people whose YouTube videos I watch, just to kill two birds with one stone. And then I'll just take my headphones out and listen to the music that's in there. Sorry, this is gonna be so wobbly, so sorry. But today I thought, you know what? I'm just feeling like I need a little bit of teenage Kaya. Just felt like she was needed today. So we had on Avril, Avril Lavigne. If you're a 90s baby, then I'm sure at some point in your life you listened to Avril Lavigne. And I had both of her albums. I know she's had more than those two, but like the two main ones. And oh, there you go. There you go. There goes the camera. Wonderful. Um, yeah, so her two main albums, I literally still know every single word. And I was just listening to the songs and the words and I was thinking, she just, 
she just gets it. She just gets life. And it doesn't matter what stage or age you are in life. Avril Lavigne is just always a good idea because she's just going to give you some clarity and she's going to let you know that your feelings are heard. And yeah, and remind you that you are a strong, not like badass B, because she's not like, you know, she's not Beyonce, she's Avril Lavigne, but like that you are capable. You are a capable human being. Right, I've been back from the gym for a moment. I'm gonna make me and the kids pancakes. Scott's now gone to the gym. And, uh, and, uh, and uh, Lena Rose is watching Harry Potter, which just <laughs> fills my heart with so much joy because I'm quite, I'm quite the Harry Potter fan. And um, yeah, I just love that she is so into it. It's the best, isn't it, when kids get into things that like you're into or that you were into. Um, yeah, so feeling very nostalgic and the weather is absolute tripe today. It's like actual monsoon season, which isn't a thing in England. Yeah, really muggy and torrential rain last night and then rained again this morning, I think, because it was really wet when I came out of the gym. Obviously there's no windows in the gym. It's like inside a shopping center, so I don't know if it actually did rain or not. Anyway, making pancakes. Told you how I make pancakes a hundred times, so I'm not gonna bother showing you. You know, it's the same thing. Flour, eggs, milk, a little bit of vanilla if you have it. Milk? You can put like a little bit of sugar in there or whatever if you want as well, but don't really need to if you're having little. toppings on it. Yeah, and then we're gonna use the chicken's eggs. Chicken's eggs, they've been laying real good because it's summer. And we are keeping, I need a jar. Ugh. We are keeping our eggshells because then you make them and crush them and the chickens eat them like dust. Um, kind of, if you think of it in the same way as a woman, having placenta capsules, it's kind of like that. So it helps the further production of their eggs be stronger and more nutritious and all of that good stuff. So yeah, that's what we're doing. We're having pancakes and watching Harry Potter and then we need to get ready because it is Nan's birthday and she's coming over at 12 and it's currently 10. So it's gonna be a bit of a quick turnaround after this lovely relaxing Sunday mid-morning brunch. Ignore the mess and the fact that I'm holding this massive tripod, but I'm just wearing feeler trainers and this little two piece set. And we're gonna head over to Mum's now. Outfits! You look so gorgeous! <laughs> Levi! Here he is, boy! What's the shoulder rolls for? <laughs> Lulu and his outfits! His TNs, is that what they're called? TN? Look at you, kids! <laughs> They're gorgeous. Hey, baby Bonnie, so pretty. Yes, so gorgeous. Cool, man. So cool, Lulu. Whoa, 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 
Oh, it's all kicking off now. Whoop, whoop. It's about your outfit. Where's your top from? Okay. Um, today, um, 82 years young. Yeah. I'm with my family. It's a very, very big family. Um, all together, counting all the great grandchildren. I have 19. I have eight grandchildren. Uh, my daughter-in-law, who's very, very special, her name's Julie, always puts on a fantastic, she looks no more than 21. Um, I think what it is with the braces, we would always be like, how we are. Yeah. Forever young. Forever young. Loving life. Loving and nice and young. Yes. If we want to be old, we could be, but I don't think we're ever going to be old. No. Never. Um, you're about my outfit. Yes, I want you to tell us about your fabulous outfit, catwalk. Um, I'm glad to say that I've lost a stone and a half in weight, which makes me, me, personally, very proud of myself. Yes. She gave you me trousers, I think, are <laughs> probably marks. Marks and sparks. Um, I never thought I'd ever get into them again, but... Oh, room to spare. They weren't like that. The top um, is from Marks and Sparks. Lovely, I love year. the pattern. It's gorgeous. And I've never worn it because I, the occasion wasn't right. Mm -hmm. I thought today the occasion with my beautiful family is just perfect. Of course it's perfect. So all I have to say is let's have a good time. Let's have a good time. I'm going to enjoy it. I'm going to enjoy it. Happy Yay. 82nd birthday. Happy 82nd birthday. Happy 82nd birthday. Cheers, wow. Nan. Happy birthday, cheers. Cheers to my family. Oh, we love you, Nan. Have you done it? <laughs> oh, delicious. I'm very hungry. Do you mean, is there any colouring pencils anywhere, please? She didn't put that gun, is she? Oh my good God. Let's get out of the shop. Oh, it's my turn. <laughs> Like Kaylee, okay. Because I can't yeah, see. There's plates in it. Do you want to put one? Oh. Look. I've got Kaylee. She's got the kids. Look, look. Matthew, Mike, are you? Uh, Scott, that sounded cheap, didn't it? Well, I've, got, <laughs> I've got to watch the football last night. Yeah, that idea. Uh, yeah, Who's that pretty woman in the oh, mirror? Yeah. Yeah. Lovely Nan, happy birthday with love and a little simple wish. Here's a simple Whoa, wish Go from the now. heart that you'll always know how much you mean, how much you're loved and what a wonderful Nan you are. Happy birthday, Bye. dear Nan. All the memories we've made bring me so much joy. Here's to all the rest to come. Love you always. Simply the best. Your Bubba Girl, Kaya. Yo, Nanny Dodos. Thanks for being such a hip, cool, trendy nanny. We love you. Lots of love. Ashton, Lila Lou, and Lena Wolf. Stop. And Scott. <laughs> love you. <laughs> that is lovely. Help is on the way, dear. <laughs> 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 we love that. Oh. Why can't you be like a normal family? Was it so? Why can't you be like a normal family? She went crazy at us, looking after us. Mum and Dad were on holiday. She went crazy at this time. Everybody, be quiet. Why can't we be like a normal family? Oh, you've got a good memory. Yeah. And, and I, I tell you where the heat comes in. You know, you probably never watch this film. Oh, who are scent of a woman? Little man, I love the man. Al Pacino. Al Pacino. And I don't want to. Al Pacino is blind. I love it. And a Leah. And a heart. He drives a Ferrari blind. You've got to see this film. And he's what? Hey, and what does he say? Who are? Who are? He's on that plane. He goes. Who are? Mm -hmm. And he goes. He's not. Oh, not. Oh my word, that is. That's you. Is that you? Oh, it's beautiful. Thank you so much. I'm so 
such a lucky that is oh, gorgeous. I'm such a lucky nanny. Oh my god, what a lovely day. And I've still got a lovely night to come. No, Tina. We have dinner at the mill. And we've got a Tina Turner tribute. Tribute. Mm. Gonna be lovely. Yeah. She's all right. There's loads of colours by the tummy. Go get some more colours. Put them all in the jar. Your what? They're everyone's colours. I'll just get them so you can share. No, I mean the girls that are on pool parties, they're like cool something, aren't they? They're like, do it, they have loads of different ways. Have you not seen that video? They have loads of different ways where they do like champagne spray and things. <laughs> I did say to George and Julie, don't you like swimming? Well, say no more. Then something's about this wedding. Really? Yeah. It wasn't. And Van Gogh's dynamite. To make more things. It wasn't. 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 I might remember words. I got Julie got mouth in that moment. Oh, no, no, no. When I was just a little girl, I asked my mother, what will I be? Will I be pretty? Will I be rich? Here's what she said to me. Hey, Sarah, 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 Sarah,
For she's a jolly good fellow, she's a jolly good fellow, for she's a jolly good fellow, and so say all of us. Yeah. Happy birthday, oh, Nanny Dolly Dolly! Oh, it's lovely! Ah, oh, it's lovely! Oh, it's lovely! What'd you say? We have got This one day has felt like an actual week because it's had so many different moments and points. We've now got the tennis on. Cricket's done, Formula One's done. We're now on to tennis. Because we are obsessed. Playing on the motorbike. Is everybody wearing pants out here? <laughs> Tommy! Oh my God, Tommy, you look so cool. Tommy, look at your sunglasses. Go on in, get on my shoulders. Good girl, Lena Rose. Good girl for waiting your turn. Keep going. Keep going round. Yeah, she's good now. Keep following him. Keep, keep following. Keep going, Lilu. Take your time. Well done. Keep going. My house is an actual state, but that's the price you pay when you have family and you're making memories. So Tommy and Bobby are really into motocross and Dean has these electric bikes for them. And the girls have both ridden on them today and loved it. So Tommy, who is currently three, has his first electric motocross race next Sunday, so we're all going to watch it. Actually, it's over the weekend, it's four. Dean, how many races is it over the weekend? Is it four? Just three on Sunday? No, both days. Both days free, like legends. So it's across the weekend and he's got... All right, he's racing in two different classes and Dean thinks he has three races on each day. So we're gonna go on Sunday because on Saturday Ashton has a football match and Bobby has a football tournament. So yeah, we're just getting back 
into motocross and racing and race motorsport and it's so exciting! Yay! Everyone's just trying to eat lasagna. My mum made lasagna and it was absolutely banging. I didn't even show it because I just absolutely inhaled it. But yeah. Oh, it's a mess. It's a full blown situation. No, so you can have three or six races. <laughs> I have finally finished cleaning up. I'm now going to have a cup of tea and yeah, then have a shower and get to bed. Thank you so much for spending the weekend with me and my family guys. I hope you enjoyed a little weekend at home vlog. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram at The Second Maiden and I'll see you on the next video. Lots of love everybody. Bye.